So, Eddie, we're looking at a new Amazon spreader here. Bought this year? Uh, no, this was bought last year. This was the first implement we, we got. So we got the John Deere tractor retrofitted, and then we bought this machine then after that. So, again, this replaced another 20-year-old uh, Amazon spreader. Um, and I suppose the things we were looking for here was we had no section control, we had no waste cells on the previous spreader, and also this uh, spreader is hydraulically driven. So we were looking from a safety point of view as well when we when we changed that. Um, How is that operated? As no, it's it, that's a positive change for you. No PTO. Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's something we're very very keen on. Um, you know, safety standards are very good here, but at the same time, if you can eliminate a, a, a risk, far better than just protect against it. Yeah. So to, to eliminate that risk was, was really, really good. Um, Ian had, had you know, prompted us on to this, 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 this GPS uh, system where we'd gone. So we got the tractor retrofitted, put in the, 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 the Trimble system. And then when this uh, spreader arrived, we started on section control, um, which was huge in terms of, of allowing us, we were avoiding overlaps, as Kendrick had said, especially in some of the tillage ground. Um, this, the, the spreader also can go from... 15 to 24, 24, 24 yeah. meters without changing the disc. So just from sitting in the tractor, depending on our, our, our 21 meter tram lines now and our tillage operations, but we uh, prior to that we were at 15, so we could go from 15 in the tillage out to 21 meter spread in our in our grassland just from the the changing the, on nothing here in the back changing nothing here just just all screens. from the from the cab. Right. Um, the the way cells then on the 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 spreader itself it gives us. a it's a second level of, of, of reassurance that we are spreading and that we are the right amount is, is going out. Um, as Ian had said earlier, we're generating work orders in the office. So given the nature of the research activities here, we could have uh, a huge range of fertilizer application rates required across various trial plots. And we can log all of those into our, our, our work orders at, at the desk, send them out to the machine. And then when Ian or one of the lads is out operating the machine, they can just call up those work orders and, and the, the whole system runs away basically effortlessly itself, you know. Okay. And so your cover here, that's hydraulically? It yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, the wheels turned down, it's very easy um, for hooking on and off. Yes. Yeah. And what capacity is the spreader? 2.6. Right, yeah. We, we um, actually looked for a machine that was more, that the extra width came from an increase in the vertical height rather than going wider, because being a, a, a livestock farm, there are an awful lot of, of, of narrow gateways to get in and out. And also we've got a very narrow uh, railway or canal bridge to get over here as well. So okay. we were trying to keep all the machines as, as tidy as possible. Right, okay. You have a camera as well on it? We do. Uh, again, there's, there's, uh, we, we, we've, we've reversing cameras on all, on both the, the, the spreader, the sprayer and the slurry tanker, and they are going back through to the, the Trimble screen as well. Um, these are more expensive pieces of equipment than what we previously had, and for the, the we we just felt that both for to protect the machine uh, from being reversing something, and also it's a very busy site here. We have an awful lot of students here, and if people are operating around, you know they're, they're quite blind behind. So we felt from a, a health and safety point of view, it was worth having. We also have we've got reversing beepers on the tractors now. We've and we've reversing cameras on a lot of the equipment now. Okay. And it's fair to say a spreader like this, it's obviously it's an expensive piece of equipment, yes. but it's something we'll see, I guess, in a lot of farms going forward with all the climate change uh, and uh, obligations. Abso absolutely, have. obviously the, the Department of Agriculture supported, you know, through the TAMS, to the TAMS scheme for, for farmers where, where applicable that they could get support for these types of spreaders as well. But most definitely, you know, it's, it's allowing us to reduce the quantity of, of fertilizer we're using and also provides that traceability and proof that we are doing what we say we are doing. In relation, in relation to the application of fertilizers. Yeah, and so we've looked at three machines here now. Say your your fertilizer spreader, your sprayer, and your tank. Yeah. Um, and it's fair to say the hardware is one thing for you, but probably the software is probably even more important um, in terms of gelling the whole thing together. And as you as a farm manager, get, having oversight of all the operation. Uh, uh, absolutely. The the we 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 started off at the very beginning thinking about changing one small piece of hardware in our in our our, our trimble display and then as we went on and we brought in the, the software and um, i think it's farmer pro i think is the version that we're using but essentially the farm has been mapped those maps are all contained on the the software and then as i said we bring in the our, our purchases our fertilizer purchases our spray purchases um, they all go onto the system and then as their applications it goes back out. We also put things like our soil sampling 
uh, results go on to it. We sample roughly a third of the farm every year, so uh, one in three, three, every three years each bit of land is, is sampled. They're going on there. We spread lime earlier during the week. Those records will go on there, and we're starting to build up a very nice profile of each piece of ground. We can see where things are going in terms of, say, simple, simple things as our pH of our soils. We have our soil samples coming on. We can see when the lime has been added and how, how those, those changes hopefully are all moving in the correct direction. We can show what levels of nitrogen we're, 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 we're putting on. For instance, we have um, red clover and hybrid ryegrass swords here for our silage. Uh, some of our silage ground that's not accessible for, for grazing in the main and you can see there where we're putting on very small levels of nitrogen for first cut and then nothing in the subsequent cuts and go on and see whether these um, strategies that we're, we're following to hopefully reduce our level of nitrogen and chemical fertilizers are actually delivering and we, we have those records there which is really good. Yeah. And so how are you communicating say with the various screens um, in reality your office is say 300 meters over there it's, so uh, it's your all phone, through the cloud. Your phone is part of it, is it? And your cloud, are, are you putting any, using any USBs? Or no, primarily just through the no we, 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 we tried to get away from that, was, was one of the, the things that we were, we were looking for, was not to have to do that, to be switching USBs. I know we can do it if it's required, but it's all done via the cloud. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 It it's just makes it much easier. and People can, I know people laugh sometimes at this, but you can, you, you can be a farmer and work from home for, from certain aspects, do up your work orders and have them loaded up to the, to the machine when they're, when they're there. And okay. just turn on hotspot on my phone and connect to them all okay. and d d upload the uh, work orders then. Okay, very good. Great, so we might have a look at that on the desktop yeah. and uh, see what that looks like. Looks Perfect. Like there. Okay, great, thank you.